Concealed gun lawmakers in Ohio are close to passing a bill that would allow permit owners to carry concealed guns in bars and restaurants that serve liquor. It allows those law-abiding citizens to be able to uh, protect themselves and their family, and that's what this is all about. Gun advocates in the House used a rare procedure Wednesday to bring the issue to the floor during this lame duck session. But it's still uncertain whether outgoing Democratic Speaker Armand Butish, who opposes the bill, will bring lawmakers back to Columbus next week for a vote. Uh, there's enough people fired up around the state that they're going to remember whether this bill was brought to a vote or not. Ken Hansen with the Buckeye Firearms Association says Ohioans should not fear a concealed carry law. If I'm at a restaurant with a firearm, you don't know. So it's not comforting or discomforting to you. But some businesses disagree. Zach Martin is a restaurant manager in the Arena District and is concerned about people coming in from an event at Nationwide who may have been drinking earlier. Most of the people are under control. You don't know that 100% of everybody. And, and I think bringing a gun or something into a situation like that is uh, it, 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 could, it could cause some bad things to happen. Local law enforcement agencies agree. They argue alcohol plus guns equals trouble. You're in a crowded bar in the dark, surrounded by people who've been drinking. And uh, you know, not just the police, but the sheriffs and the chiefs of police association all oppose this bill. Hansen counters that businesses can post a sign prohibiting concealed weapons. There's 42 states that have this law. Out of those states, none have repealed it. It's, it's an emotional issue when they discuss it. When it's implemented, it's no big deal. Starting next month, lawmakers will deal with a projected $8 billion budget shortfall. If the gun bill doesn't pass now, proponents fear it will be pushed into the back burner. Further complicating their effort, the gun lobby strongly backed Governor Ted Strickland for re-election. They aren't sure they'll have the support of incoming Governor John Kasich. In Columbus, Jim Heath, The Ohio News Network. Some who have weapons permits in Ohio believe the state's concealed carry laws are too restrictive. I also have one in Pennsylvania, and it's a lot easier in Pennsylvania to, to get one. Ohio's six-year-old concealed carry law defines how guns can be transported and where they can be taken. Mark Data of Barberton strongly supports the right to bear arms, but also believes there are places where firearms should not be welcome. To just pick up a weapon and walk into a bar or a store or the movies or wherever at any time is, I just think that the potential for very, uh, there's a lot of dangerous situations that could pop up. Senate Bill 239 would make it easier for people with permits to take weapons into restaurants that serve alcohol, bars, and even ballparks. Its sponsors say visitors could enjoy Ohio's hospitality industry without fear of breaking the law. The state fraternal order of police believes it would put more officers in harm's way. I'm not advocating that we should have carefree laws authorizing weapons, but I'm, what I'm here to tell you is our officers are already in harm's way going into these bars, uh, but they're in harm's way from the criminals that carry weapons into these bars. Sponsors also point out that responsible gun owners are not the ones to fear, and the current concealed carry law has not turned the state into the Wild West. The proposal will meet with opposition from lawmakers like Akron's Representative Brian Williams and residents who don't care that Ohio's laws are tougher than our neighbors. I'm all for concealed weapons, but uh, in ballparks and things like that, I think that's what security's for. People kill people, not, not guns, that kind of thing. And as far as protection goes in this town, I think you need them today.